as it were. As it were. Now here's the thing. Just 10 minutes shy of an hour, 50 minutes. 10 minutes shy of an hour, 50 minutes. <clears throat> and, and 584 calories burn, right? You can't possibly get misconstrued in your head if you didn't eat consciously before you burnt 584 calories, that you got 584 calories of space to eat reckless now, midday, 6 o'clock in the evening. Can't do it. Can't do it. You got to be mindful of what you've eaten thus far, what you've done today thus far, and what you can no longer afford to do to where 584 calories is going to be of benefit to you. Having burnt 584 calories is going to be a benefit to you. You got to think of what you can do now. As far as me, today I ate once around uh, what was it? 1.30? About 1.30, give or take. Um, I had a real uh, barbecue real um, sausage and brisket. A lot of meat, plenty of meat. Plenty of meat. And that's really kind of what you gotta do to kind of have some idea of what you can have, what you can't have. When I'm having meat in that abundance, I'm working with all protein more or less. That works for me. That works. So I probably didn't put on a lot of calories eating that, but again, to make the most out of what I have eaten, I can't eat reckless right now. Just under 600 calories burnt in exercise, I can't go in now and eat a bunch of bread, fried food, processed food, and expect you know my exercise to have really contributed to any type of, you know, cardio, fat loss, fat burn, or anything like that, you know. <clears throat> but then again, I knew that going in. But typically, when I eat my first meal, it's going to be primarily protein anyway. So it's really not an issue. It's really not a problem. You know what I mean? So that's straight. But I ain't no dietitian. I ain't got it all mapped out. I ain't got it all figured out. And a lot of what I do, you know, I have a comfort for because I believe in eating. I believe in eating what I want. I believe in eating what I like. But I also believe in eating with a purpose. You know, if I'm going to complain about my weight, then I'm not going to do a whole bunch of reckless eating and then still make the same complaint. If I just decided that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to work off what I'm going to work off, I'm going to work out when I want to work out and I'm going to eat what I want to eat, then you ain't going to hear me complaining too much about how I look. That's going to be just my own personal problem and my agenda, you know. Not like some people, you know, they go around people and then say a whole bunch of stuff hoping that they'll get advice that they haven't heard before, get tips that they haven't tried and failed at doing before, shit like that, you know. Oh, I know I got to stay away from the white stuff. I got to stay away from rice and grits and bread and mashed potatoes. Go right home and have a fucking mashed potato sandwich covered in gravy with fucking, you know, extra gravy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stop wasting your time trying to get people to talk about shit that you won't apply. Good information you won't use. Get out of here. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? But stop all that. Damn all that. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do. Be happy. You know? We all on this little blue bubble for a short period of time. When it's time to go, it's time to go. And ain't no recharge and ain't used to ask for a refund. It's over with. Over with time. So enjoy it. 
however that whatever that means to you enjoy enjoy what you look like or just be happy with what you look like either way either way it's up to you you know what i mean <clears throat> hopefully we can bridge the gap of togetherness get more and more people on the side of being right and being good with god that's the only thing that's the only race that's the only ethnicity that's the only religion that's the only practice that's the only social ill that i want cured that everybody can be happy with who they are where they are and let god be first in your life that should be a race of its own that should be the only race that exists that should be the only race that exists i try to help i try to help i tell you you know try to start with communication you know what i'm saying try to start with talking you know you can't talk like somebody else but if you try to understand Try to make that correlation through communication, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, why I tell you? You ain't tell you, I told you what I told you. I was there when I told you when I said it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't really dig how somebody is explaining something, but you get the gist of what they're saying, say something that they can relate to. You know what I mean? You know, if you if you're a cool white person, you hanging out with your cool black friend, and you see your black friend going off, he said, man, they know they're wrong about that shit they did to George Floyd. You know what you say? Ain't it though? He gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you get it. Like, yeah, I get it. Whatever. Say something that they can relate to. <laughs> That's your comeback. That's your white boy comeback right there. It's a shame how they doing us as black people. But I'm tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Yeah. See, my white friend get it. White friend, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Same thing. You know, if you're a black person. And you hear a white person going off, and you know they other, they they over and above all cool. You can hang with them. They can hang with you. Y'all been chopping it up. And that's your homeboy. That's your white homeboy. And he going off about some shit you ain't really. I really stays through the roof, and I can't get the Nasdaq Composite Index to work for me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Leroy? You be like, fucking a. Yeah. See, he gets it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you ain't got stock, mammy. You ain't got stock. You ain't got stock first cousin. You ain't got stock in stock. You ain't got shit. But that's what he going off about. And damn it, he, he, is, he is indulging his concerns to you as a friend. You ain't got to understand. You just got to relate to him for a second. You know what I mean, Leroy? <laughs> Fucking A. Fucking A. Shit need to be, shit need to get better for my white friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> if we can understand each other, we can learn to love one another. You got to start somewhere. So start with them two. Add them to your vocabulary for you. You know, so you can get along with your brother. Your brother from the other mother and the brother from another mother. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're white, go in the mirror and practice it when you get home. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Yeah, when you get that, ain't, ain't it though? Yeah, black people will relate to you better. Trust me. Black people, you around your white friend, go in the mirror and practice it. Get a little twang in there. Fucking A. Fuck. Fucking A. Dick, bango. Bango. You might get invited to the next NASCAR or some shit like that. Talladega. <laughs> 